Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to me to go over every. to those dominant in the media are moved to keep those views to themselves, lest they be ostracized or isolated. There are three characteristics to the spiral of science theory. Ubiquity, which is that media is everywhere. Cumulation, which is that media repeats stories and perspectives across different programs, media and time, and consonants, which is similar to journalistic views that influence the content that they produce. Anyway, Spiral of Silence theory comes to us from Elizabeth Nolan who was a German political scientist, and she developed a the theory in 1984. She argued primarily that mass media like TV, radio, and newspapers dominate the opinions that are the majority and then tend to ostracize those that aren't. People who hold the majority opinion are just ending up like this guy. No! Spiral of Silence assumes at least four things. One, that people are active, active audience. Two, that they have a fear of isolation. Three, that individuals can assess the media climate. And four, that evaluation of a public opinion matters. Now, in this instance, Kurt does not really conform to assumption number two. He doesn't care that he's going to be ostracized because he said, I like Trump. But the other three were good to go. So this is a good demonstration that not every time will all the assumptions be met in Spiral of Silence and that it's not always going to explain phenomena because he is a proud supporter of Trump. Theorists are often critical of the spiral of silence theory because they often say it's like mass society theory, which insinuates that the media has a very powerful influence over the masses. Kind of like my foot's about to have a very high influence on Kurt's face. <laughs> In conclusion, people will either remain in the minority opinion and stay silent or join the majority opinion. People fear being ostracized for their own opinions. Few people in the minority will speak out, but they are a minority of a minority. A little known fact is that Elizabeth Noel Newman, she would not want you to know this, but she was a journalist with the Nazi party, SS. And so it should come as no surprise that her theory is the spiral of silence, SS. Illuminati, you never know. So spiral of silence has a media effect because media is the biggest contributing factor to getting the spiral started. We have a matter of public opinion, whether Trump is good or bad. The media believes that Trump is bad. And because we said that the media is ubiquitous, it's everywhere, and continuous over all of its genres and all media forms. We have one opinion, the dominant opinion. We, the public, agree with them. We don't like Trump. And so poor Kurt here has the crap beat out of him because he didn't agree with us. And that's the spiral of silence. And his name is John Cena!